Hey everyone, so today we have here, this is an A1466 uh, MacBook Air. We do have it in here for repair. Uh, it's a pretty interesting one, obviously, because you can see it's already open, at least the back, but uh, there's a problem here, and this is where the battery connection goes. And uh, the client did come in, they tried to uh, open it, and they ripped off the battery connection. We actually have the plastic piece here, which is, I guess, kind of good, but there still is a big problem with it. We would need to put this one back on. Let me just show you from the top-down view. We can actually see that a little bit better. So you can see that the, it did come in here. A uh, laptop still does turn on, which is a very good thing, obviously. But uh, we can see that battery connection has been ripped here. And for reference, this is basically what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have this little piece that goes on here. You can see how it's, there's a solder piece here. I don't know, this is soldered actually right here to the plastic. So you're thinking, you know what, hey, we can just plug this in. This will work totally fine, right? Maybe just put it on and just solder it here and it'll be totally fine, right? Uh, no. So the, if you see here, this is actually really interesting how the pins are actually exposed here. There's actually uh, some metal pieces here, if you can kind of see. Uh, the metal pieces there need to be touched and need to be soldered there too. These pieces actually did break off itself. So we need to have at least a donor for this one, at least to, to, to remove this one perfectly so it's not ripped traces or anything like that, and then uh, reinstall it onto the new one. So we're just going to be doing this today because it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, the only thing is it does work. And it's a shame that this did happen. Uh, that's the thing. When you do have any type of um, situation like this, even removing the battery can can lead to uh, a board repair or something like that. So let's just get into it. We do have a donor board here. So we're going to be removing this one and then just place it on the new one. So here's the old one, and you can see the tracer is still in there, and here is the one that we have for donor. You can see the difference, and I'm going to go flip this other one over, and you're going to see the reason why this is more of a difficult repair. You see that? We plugged it back in. It looks very good, as you can see the, the work that we did under the microscope. And we did remove it from the old one. This is the old donor board that we had. You can see that the, the traces have been removed and everything like that. You can see the delicate process that does go into this. Uh, now we want to make sure that at least the battery is charging and that we want to make sure this is a very stable connection too. Um, we always want to be careful too because obviously if it happened once, uh, the customer may, <laughs> may be doing it again. We want to make sure that um, if they would try that even again, we don't even encourage it, but if they would try that again, that it wouldn't be um, it's an issue to plug it in. You can see we want to be very careful plugging it in. There we go. It's very solid there. And now we want to just turn it on and test it to see. Let's see how our work has done. It's going through USB, so it'll be a little bit slow. Okay, uh, we do see you see the top right corner. You see that the battery is charging. I always want to make sure it's going up at least a percent or so. So. Good login. All right, you see the little charging icon, and you did see it go up right there. It went from 17 to 18 percent. So it is definitely recognizing the battery. Um, you can see the power source is the is the power adapter. The power when you plug it in, it will just use the source from the 
actual power adapter itself. Um, it won't. Uh, it will charge the battery and use the power from the power adapter, so you won't be using the battery as this is charging. So when I disconnect it, to stay on, correct? Yep. So we disconnected it there, and you can see it will change. But uh, give it a second because it needs to read it. You can see now. You see that it says now it's powering through battery. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, and you do see the the type of work and repair that is required for for this type of issue. For something like this, it is very common for this actually to happen because it's very easy. This part is very very fragile to break off. Of uh, when you any time you ever unplug the battery, do anything with it because there is a little tab that does go under the battery connection here. And it's very easy to rip this part off because it doesn't come um, super smooth when you do remove it obviously because it needs to hold itself in it's not really meant for a user to be opening and closing it and if you do break that off you can tell that the, the work involved in it is pretty extensive it's not just you can slap it in there and then it's all good to go or you just maybe heat it a little bit and then slap it on and it's good to go as well um, this one especially there are traces that are very important for here and um, to, to put those traces even back on you would have to get a donor board in the first place is to have the donor board available which uh, it's very hard to get at least one of them just laying around unless you're like a tech shop like us that does a lot of these board repairs and we need to have stuff like this around all the time to do repairs like this uh, for for you guys out there um, but just to let you guys know about and to see the extensive work that that does come it's very easy to also burn that piece of plastic that is broken off there to put it back on it's very easy to do that and if you mess that up too uh, you'll definitely see um, the only other option would be mainly to go is if you ever check out our last video we actually do have um, a razor laptop there we did have to because of the connection was very 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 burnt um, because the connection got burnt we actually had to solder the battery directly into um, this and directly into the the traces there so it would be working like it would be plugged in here but once you do that though there's no real replacing the battery unless you have to redo the whole process and even if you do that you have to be careful you have to remove those traces and everything else from from that so it's not a very easy way to remove the the battery itself but i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on the a1466 of uh, replacing the little uh, battery connector that does go there uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. It really does help us a lot. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Bye.